Actually, before Turing, scientists thought of calculations as in mathematics. To calculate was to put mathematical operations together. Turing's universal machine goes beyond anything that people were thinking about at that time. The first is that Turing didn't think of calculations as in mathematics. He looked at how humans calculate. And how do people calculate? They get a pen, a piece of paper, and they write symbols on it. And that's exactly what Turing thought calculating machines should do. So his machine is extremely simple. It has a tape, the equivalent of piece of paper, a simple control unit describing a fixed set of basic tasks that the machine can perform, and the header, which is the equivalent of the pen, that moves back and forth along the tape, writing and erasing symbols. The second crucial insight that Turing had was that the control unit could be kept fixed, just like hardware these days. You could get the machine to perform different tasks by simply writing different instructions on the tape which is the equivalent of loading different programs on your computer these days. Current research in theoretical computer science, from the design of new programming languages to the automatic verification of software, are still based on the simple but revolutionary ideas of Turing. Turing thought that machines should be modeled on us, humans, and just as we are universal machines that can perform a multitude of tasks, so is Turing's universal machine.